All right, Mid Journey has some really fun new updates in version seven. And I want to show you some really fun things you could do to create images, believe it or not, using the editor, right? So let's jump over here. We have an image, which is the skull. Let's jump over here to the editor. And I want to show you some really fun things that you can do. First off, they've got this great smart select tool. And in my uh, Mid Journey Experience school community, somebody was posting the other day about removing the background. And let me just show you how easy it is. So we can select the skull and then we just hit erase background and blam, it's gone. All right now you have to play around with this a little bit. And if you've got a photograph or something that's got really kind of some funky edges, you, you really have to uh, play with it a little bit. But for something like this, which has hard and fast edges to it, it's really super simple. We could download this image and then we could use it in our design program and it's ready to go uh, with no background around the skull. But this opens this up to lots of opportunity for design changes, and this is the fun part here. So we wanna actually design in the editor tool. So one of the cool things that you can do is just delete the prompt and then hit this little star command here, which says suggest a prompt, and they're gonna use this for the basis for creating some new stuff. So we really just want vintage illustration of a skull rendered in red ink on beige paper, right? We're going to click over here to retexture and we're going to delete everything except vintage illustration of a skull. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add in some new prompts, right? So let's do isolated denim fabric background. When we hit go, this is not going to create with this same image of the skull and even though we're in the editor command, it's going to give us new images, but it's going to base it on the original image. Here's the original image, right? Here's the new image. And what we're trying to get is this denim look, right? I love that. I love this, right? Look, check this out. Look at this one. I really like this one the best, I think, right? Now we've got this fake signature thing if we wanted to we could just click this and click paint and then we could just delete that and then it's going to erase that little thing now you've got an image that we can download and use later that looks fantastic but the fun doesn't stop there let's go back to retexture and then let's delete what we put in and let's just add a beach scene right now, this is a weird kind of thing to think about with a with a kind of a graphic skull. But remember, we're trying to create some fun and different images. And this is really great for a T-shirt uh, art or some social media post or something. You never know what you're going to get out of Mid Journey. So putting something weird in sometimes can really lead to some great and unexpected results. And did we get that? I don't know. I kind of like this one with the cloud. Uh, maybe we need more of that, right? So again, we can go to our edit and then we can delete the things that we don't really like. Let's just uh, delete this a little bit. And let's just uh, over here in the, this area and let's just hit submit edit. And then let's just see what Mid Journey gives us. Maybe it gives us more clouds. Maybe it gives us a landscape. Who knows? This is how you can be designing even though you're using the edit area. So you're not adding more prompts. You're just using the edit and you're throwing some ideas out just to see what mid journey picks up. And maybe it does something cool. Maybe it doesn't, I don't know. These are kind of lame. Let's just go back to texture and let's do one more and let's just say pop art. And uh, I love using pop art as a mid journey uh, uh, prompt just because it always gives us some funky stuff and usually some cool color combinations. Will we get anything cool? That looks pretty interesting. I think I like this one the best, but let's say we wanna change it up and we wanna get uh, a different aspect ratio. The cool thing about uh, the edit command is that we can use um, 16 and nine. Let's take that one, right? We can maybe move this over a little bit, right? And then we can hit submit edit and let's just see what we get. Maybe it fills it in. Maybe it gives us something weird. We don't know. 
The cool thing about using Midjourney is the unexpected design surprises that you can get. And I kind of appreciate that and like that just because this is where a lot of the magic happens. There's a house with a tree. Here's some weird looking bonsai looking trees. Look at that, that looks kind of cool. Which one do you like the best here? This one's got some skulls in it. I think I like the, this one the best with the trees, but this part doesn't look uh, like it belongs. Again, we can just go to paint and uh, we just kind of uh, delete the areas we don't like, hit submit edit. And of course it's gonna replace it. We'll replace it with something we like or something we don't. You know, I didn't really delete everything. You know, so that's kind of my fault. I'm kind of hurrying because it's a video. Remember, you don't have to be as precise as you want, but you're always going to get a kind of a cool result. And sometimes it takes, uh, it takes an edit or two to get to where you want to go. So we could just do this. And it takes a minute sometimes with the editor work. And bingo, we got something we can use. So which one do we like the best? Kind of like that one. So we downloaded that image. It's perfect for what we want to use it with. And we're all set. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video. If you want to play around with this, I highly suggest you do. Remember to design using the editor feature just so you can kind of create some new things that are unexpected. Sometimes it pays to let Midjourney drive the car. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about uh, tips and tricks on using Midjourney, please subscribe to the Midjourney Experience community and newsletter. We love to see you there, especially on school. Take care. We'll talk to you later. See you.